my position, I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Agronomy, the Plant Breeding and Plant Genetics program. And my primary area of focus is I work in improving corn. Mm -hmm. So the two primary focus of, of our research is increasing biomass per acre, you know, the, with in, in, a, in the same amount of land, how much more biomass we can produce just by increasing, changing the morphology of the plant or our being able to put more plants per acre, maximize biomass production. And then the second component is uh, we know that the complex carbohydrates that are contained in the cell walls, they're not easy to access. I mean, the, the, the microbes that need to access those sugars have a hard time to access those because of the recalcitrance primarily of the lignin that is contained in those cell walls. So any studies, any um, genetic uh, information that you can obtain in corn could very likely be possible to be translated into species like switchgrass and miscanthus to make that process more efficient that is needing less energy, less resources to, to transform, break to break it down and, and transform it into ethanol. I always liked biology. That was always something that I had it clear in my mind that biology was something that I really enjoyed. And my parents happened to be plant breeders too. And so I, as a, as a child, I remember going out to the field with my father while he was doing his evaluations and looking at corn and, and other species. And um, it, it was kind of a natural thing. that I amazingly knew from, from very early on what I wanted to do. It's a very critical time to have a, a lot of very good minds uh, aware of the fact that agriculture is very important and, and the new generation um, will be responsible for really uh, keeping up with the world. So I think it's ex extremely important.